Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and today I will be creating a card using the November card kit by Simon Says Stamp. The kit comes with a pack of uh, dimensional Apple stickers. There is also a stamp set which is called Apple of My Pie. The whole kit is uh, fall themed with beautiful colors, I just love this kit. It also comes with a package of uh, rub-ons and uh, you can uh, rub them on the back of uh, your cards. And there are also the 6x6 uh, pattern papers and uh, you can see how beautiful all those uh, patterns and the colors are. And what I really love about this kit is not only the designs and the colors, but also this pack of uh, chipboard die cuts. There are actually 100 uh, dies, die cuts inside this uh, package and I am going to open up uh, the package for you so you can see what's inside. These are all uh, die cuts that are great for creating your uh, full scrapbook pages as well as uh, your cards. And you can uh, use those in any of your mixed media projects, like uh, I can always use them in one of my art journal layouts. And uh, if you want me to use uh, some of them in a layout, make sure to leave a comment below and I will try and uh, create something out of them. In the kit you will also find three pre-folded white uh, card bases. All three are white and uh, they give you the standard uh, card base uh, size that's uh, four and a quarter by five and a half and they fold at the side. Finally, there are four card stocks. They are all great for your card bases and uh, they come in four different colors that uh, match perfectly all the supplies in the kit. To start my card, I am going to cut out this pattern paper to be four and a quarter by five and a half, and this is going to cover up the whole card base. The card base that I am using is one of the prefolded uh, cards that were inside the kit. So while I am doing that, just to let you know that there is a giveaway on my blog. So for a chance to win this uh, November card kit by Simon Sestam, make sure to visit my blog and enter your details. All the supplies that I'm using today are linked and listed below the video, whether on YouTube in the description area or on my blog. Now I am going to use this uh, beautiful pattern paper, which I am going to cut out to be four and a quarter. I love the combination of those uh, two pattern papers together. And um, for the edge of my top uh, layer, I am going to use this edge die. This is an exclusive uh, set of dies by Simon Says Stamp and I am going to use the smaller one. I am going to place it at the bottom of my panel and uh, after deciding where this is going to go, I am going to make sure this is not going to move by placing a couple of uh, post-it tape uh, pieces. So I am securing my die there and I am going to run it through my Sizzix machine. I did place the edge die in such a way that it leaves enough room so I can stamp my sentiment later on. I am going to layer one uh, pattern paper on top of the other and just because uh, the bottom is darker you will be able to see the beautiful scallop edge. So I'm going to place it on top and decide how big I want the top panel to be. I'm going to use a pencil to mark uh, where I want to cut it out and I'm using my paper trimmer. And this beautiful combination of pattern papers can uh, make a card uh, just like that by placing one on top of the other. I really love this combination and uh, by just stamping a sentiment it would be beautiful. But just to make it, take it a little bit farther, I decided to use one of those die cuts in the kit. So I am going with that leaf there and I, dis I chose one of uh, my die circles that uh, is uh, slightly larger than that leaf. And I am going to create a window out of this panel. I am adding some tape adhesive at the back and I will stick a piece of transparency there. The acetate that I am using for my shaker cards are either from acetate that uh, I used to use on uh, overhead projectors or you can always use and recycle the packaging from all the products that you get at home, which is something I do all the time. I am using foam tape at the back of uh, my panel and uh, I am going to make sure to enclose that uh, circle with uh, foam tape just to make sure that all uh, the little bits and pieces that I am going to put inside my window will not go anywhere. I have also cut out a piece of um, uh, pattern paper which is going to be the backing for my window. This pack is by Little Things and it's from uh, my blog friend uh, Lucy from Lucy's Cards and uh, the mix is called Bright Copper Kettle. 
These are available from uh, Simon Says Stamp, but they are also available from uh, Lucy's online shop in the UK. So if you live in uh, Europe, you should uh, definitely check them out. She has gorgeous mixes of uh, sequins for all your shaker cards. So now I'm going to put the backing and my shaker window is ready. And all that's left to do is to stick it on top of my card base. So I'm peeling off the foam at uh, the back and I'm going to add a little bit of tape adhesive. And now I'm going to place it at uh, the top of my card. To finish off my shaker window, I am going to stick on top that uh, die cut leaf. I am just going to add some tape adhesive at the back and just stick it there. So now the, all that's left to do is uh, to add my sentiment. For my sentiment I am going to use the word blessings from uh, this uh, stamp set and I am going to white emboss it at the very bottom of the card. Before uh, stamping with Versamark I am applying some uh, powder with my embossing tool which eliminates uh, static electricity and that ensures that once I apply my embossing powder it will stick only where it's supposed to. So I have stamped uh, blessings with my Versamark ink and now I'm going to apply my white embossing powder. Once that's there I'm going to heat set it with my heat gun. And if you are melting your embossing powder with a heat gun and uh, you do have a shaker window like I do on this card, make sure that you don't bring your heat gun very close to that acetate since you don't want to melt it and ruin uh, all your hard work. And now that my card is all finished, it's time for the finishing touches. So I'm using my Wing of Stella to add some shimmer on the leaf as well as on uh, the red uh, uh, accents on the card. And uh, then I am going to use some uh, glossy accents on top to add some uh, gloss. And to finish off my card, I am going to use one of those uh, rabbons that was included in the kit. These say handmade for you, so I am going to cut out one of those pieces and I am going to place it at the back of my card. So that finishes the card for today. I hope you had fun and got inspired. And if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me a thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Here are some close-up photos of the card today. Don't forget to visit my blog and enter the giveaway for a chance to win this November card kit by Simon Says Stamp. And if you need more inspiration, here are two more videos using last year's November card kit. You can click on any of the videos right there on your screen or if you are watching from a mobile device you can find the links to both those videos just below in the description area or you can click the info card that just popped on your screen. Thank you all for watching!